All right, we're going to go ahead and skip down to measuring with a ruler. Um, remember I said that you could really do any of these in any order that you wanted, but these we're going to work in order. Now all these standards, all these skills from lessons one through seven are all building on what you already know from fourth grade. So it should be a review, um, but measuring is one of those things. Remember, it's the most important skill. We use um, measuring and fractions. These are like the two things we use every single day, all the time for anything you do. Whether it is building something, um, hanging curtains, um, measuring out something for cooking, you name it, we use it all the time. So Miss Dunnigan didn't have a ruler, so I'm gonna be using a tape measure but it is all the same um, the same idea. It's just on a flexible, that's all a tape measure is. It's just flexible, but it's the same um, information. So we're gonna start with lesson one, measuring with a ruler, so I'm gonna mark it off. And how we're gonna work these lessons from our textbook is I'm gonna go through, just like I do in class, we're gonna look at the hands-on, and then we're gonna go um, do our talk about. I know we can't really obviously talk about it um, together, but we can go ahead and think about these and answer them just like we normally would in class. And then we're going to do a couple of practice questions. We'll maybe do one or two on each, just like we would in class. And then you're going to do the rest on your own. Um, and then you're going to have the homework to practice as well. And you can see, so if you for some reason have misplaced the ruler that I sent home, you can cut out this little um, bit of paper and you can use that as well. All right. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and start. Oh, they have one right here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and flip. So I'm going to talk with you. The number one mistake that people make with rulers is they don't start at the zero. So this is like bar none. They always just start at the end of the ruler. And if you look at the rulers that I sent you, there's almost always a little lip at the end or there's sometimes there's a little piece of plastic. Sometimes you don't see a zero. If you don't see a zero on your ruler, that means the end is zero. But if you see a zero, this is where you're going to start. And um, you know you can mark that, you can circle that zero with your pencil um, on my wooden rulers, that's fine with me, just to kind of clue you in and remind you that that's where you're gonna start. Because if you started all the way over here, you're automatically gonna be um, you know, up to a fourth of an inch off. And that's one of the reasons why they have this unit come after fractions, because fractions, um, the standard is that you can measure down for the, this is standard measurement, the United States customary. So it, you have to be able to measure all the way down to an eighth of a inch of an inch. And um, specifically, I'm going to, we'll hit later, they're going to ask you to map these out on what's called a line plot. So, but that's later on. So that's in data and we'll get to that in the next couple of weeks. So here we go. So we're going to start. Um, the standard says that you know what you're measuring. So that's the unit. We always say in word problems, what are you counting? So you are measuring length and your unit is going to be inches. And so we only have a few customary measurements. Now remember customary, so I'm gonna to write to the side. Just like I always do in class, we kind of take notes to the side or sometimes we open our journal. So we have customary, this is United States customary. And for length, we're going to do inches, yards, oh, let's go, I forgot feet, yards, and miles. So we're gonna get into metric. I didn't send metric home with you guys because it is a little more difficult. You have to go back to all that information that you already knew about multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. We did that in, in quarter one. So I stuck with what I already knew you had experience with. So the thing we are measuring is length and the unit we are measuring in today is going to be inches. So length is the measurement of distance between two points. Notice that science word distance, but the measurement is length in math. You can use a ruler to measure the length. So a ruler is one of many tools you can use. So you can use a ruler, which is just the hard. You can use a tape measure, which can either be hard 
like the one that I have here, or it can be like an actual tape. And this is for objects that are three-dimensional, because obviously you can't bend a ruler around something like a sphere or a cylinder. Um, and then obviously there's some other tools as well. There's a really cool tool, I can't remember what it's called, but um, it's on a wheel and you start it at zero and you walk it across the ground and it's to measure things like football fields. And that's how they measure those out. Um, you should Google that so you can see that's a really cool tool that you would use in every day for a much larger um, object. Here we go. You're gonna measure length to the nearest half inch or quarter inch. And so I want you to look, pretend, so here's our hole because here's zero and here's one. So you're just thinking like a number line. So think about all that stuff we did with the number line. And you're gonna split it up just like you would a fraction. So I'm gonna pretend I had a fraction bar down here. So here's zero and here's a hole. And just like a fraction bar, so on a ruler, this is your biggest line in the middle. And that's gonna show you a half. Just like as if you were cutting this in a fraction, that's all they're doing. They just don't extend the line all the way down. And then just like with our fractions, and this is your next biggest line. So this is your medium sized line and it cuts right in the middle of a half. And so of course it makes a fourth. And if we extended it all the way down, you'd actually see that fourth in there. And then there's the tiny line. And of course, if we cut a fourth in half, we get what fraction? eighths. Now they're only asking, and on the test they're only going to ask you to measure to the nearest quarter inch. And when they say a quarter inch, they mean one fourth, one half, because that's the same as two fourths or three fourths. Now why in the world do they not have you measure to the nearest four fourths? What number is four fourths? If you said one, you're right. All right, so we're gonna practice measuring and we're gonna use our lines. So remember the big line is a half, the medium lines are a fourth, and the small lines are an eighth. And your rounding, um, also you have to think about your nearest whole number. So now I want you to focus, just look at your ruler or look at your paper, either one, and you're gonna focus just on the next two whole numbers. So these are regular fractions, but these numbers are gonna be mixed numbers because they have a whole number plus possibly a fraction. Of course, the only case would be is if it rounds straight to that whole number, then that would just be a whole number and not a mixed number. Okay, so you have to be careful. So mistake number one was that people don't remember there's a little space here. Mistake number two is that they write the fraction, but they don't put the whole numbers in there. And so they forget that you need to add one and a half or two and a half or three and a half. All right, so here we go. So looking down at the bottom, we made sure we lined it up with zero. We're gonna find our next whole number, which, which is one. We're gonna find our biggest line, which is a half. And we know that it counts one fourth, one half, three fourths. And is it closer to a half or closer to three fourths? It's closer to three fourths. And we know that if it is after our one, we need a mixed number. So it is one, Oh, so this one says to round it to the nearest half inch. Okay, so I'm gonna skip count for you. We're gonna skip count by halves. We have zero, one half, one and one half, two, two and a half, three. All right, so if we're going to the nearest one half, we have these two options because these two options are right here, one and a half and two. 
So this one's um, a little tricky because you have to think, is it closer for half inch to this one down here or is it closer to here? Because those are the two numbers that are on my skip counting list. And if you said it's closer to the half, you would be right. So it is one and one half to the nearest half inch. So we need a denominator of two. Now we're going to go to the nearest quarter inch. And so quarter we know means a denominator of four. And this one is clearly closest to three-fourths, but we can't forget our one. All right, we're going to move on to page 802. It says, helpful hence, all measurements are approximations, which means a guess, an educated guess. We have human error rulers um, are standardized and that they're all the same, but um, obviously, you know, our eyesight is better or worse. Mine much worse probably than you, yours. And so you can only be so precise with the tool you have and with the person you have. So no matter what they are, unless a computer does it, it is an approximation or a really good educated guess. All right, so here we go. We're going to do some practice. Find the length of the paper clip. So what are we measuring? We're measuring length. What unit are we going to use? We're going to use inches. And it says half inch, which means it's going to have a denominator of what? I hope you said two. And then to the nearest quarter inch. So it's going to need a denominator of four. Place the ruler against the edge of the object, line up the zero on the ruler. All right, so I'm just gonna pick something. Actually, I'm just gonna make a line. <coughs> and I'm gonna get my useful little tool out here. This one starts, if you notice, there is no zero. Remember what I said, if there's no zero, that means the end.